Hello guys and welcome back to the Northeast Updates channel. The Newcastle United and Premier League fixtures have literally just been announced. So I thought we'll jump on, analyse that for anyone who hasn't seen it already. So if you haven't seen this already, it's a very, very difficult start for Newcastle United. Um, we've obviously got Champions League. We're already linked with a few players transfer-wise. We've just signed a young in as well. Um, but these fixtures, it is a baptism of fire. We're going to need to start pulling my finger out and get some players in early doors. Get them bedded into the team because there's no breathing room here in terms of starting up. First game of the season, we we have Aston Villa at St James's Park. Now, if you look at Aston Villa's form towards the back end of last season, very, very difficult to play against. The new managers came in, absolutely done a fantastic job with them. Very, very tough game. The only thing is, is it is up at St James's Park. We've seen last season how rocking it is up here. Very, very tough start. Um, following that, we've got probably the hardest tie that you're ever going to get is Man City away. They've just won the treble. They've just won the Champions League. They're going to have all of the confidence, all of the momentum going into that. Very, very tough game. Gets it out of the way with, I suppose. But every manager you see at the start of every single season wants that first three points, needs that first three points. You need that confidence. After Man City, we've got Liverpool. So... Liverpool, that's up here, it's in James's Park. But again, if you're looking at form teams on the back end of last season, Liverpool, first half of the season, did terrible second half of the season, looked exactly like normal Liverpool do, banging in goals, winning games. Then we've got Brighton away. Again, another in-form team on the back end of last season. Obviously, they qualified for, for European football. They're going to have, similar to us, they're going to have an almost completely different squad going into next season. They've already lost McAllister. They're going to need replacements. A few of the other top top players, they've been linked with moves as well. So that's going to be a, a, a similar sort of job where we're going to need bodies in for Newcastle, for Champions League football. They're going to have all that to do. However, them first three games, Aston Villa, Man City and Liverpool, they're when the transfer window is open. So we don't want to be... Signing someone and chucking them straight in the deep end. We want to be probably signing someone ASAP, getting them used to playing with everyone, giving them that pre-season. Um, because if not, you, you can't really start a season and throw away points the first four games. But it's going to be very, very tricky. Once we get past the first four games, there is a little bit of a reprieve with that. We've got Brentford at home. Um, obviously, they haven't got Ivan Tony now. Big game. Um, then we go back-to-back -back games against newly promoted teams. So we've got Sheffield United away. Probably a very winnable game, you'd say. Obviously, every game in the Premier League is difficult, but that's going to be one of the easiest games that we play this season. Then we have Burnley. Now, Burnley, very, very tough ones because they've literally just been promoted. They've got all the form from the championship. They absolutely decimated it. Very interesting to see what they do in the summer to see how tricky that game is. Um, we've then got West Ham, Crystal Palace, Wolves, um, then another big game against Arsenal, then Bournemouth, then Chelsea, Man U, then away to Everton, Tottenham, and they go on towards the back end of the season, just to show what the, the end of season running will be like. The last five games that we've got, we've got Manchester United away again, that could be six points. If we manage to replicate what we did last season um, and mount a top four Race, you would imagine, man, you were going to be in that title race. So that is the potential to be an absolutely huge game um, for determining what the the fixtures, the league table rather, looks like. Then we've got Sheffield United, which again should be an easy-ish game. Um, Burnley, I'll reserve judgment on that because I think you're going to see a different Burnley going into the Premier League. A lot of new players, I would imagine. Um, then we've got Brentford, again, a really tough game. Brentford at the start and back end of the season. And on the last game of the season, we're away to Brentford. So we'll post all of the fixtures in detail below. Let us know what you think as Newcastle fans um, of these fixtures. Obviously, it's the baptism of fire at the start. That's really coming to shock. It, it takes away being able to, to carry the momentum into last season going a little bit. However, if we do get any surprise results against, obviously, uh, Liverpool and, and Man City, fantastic. We've got that wave of momentum going into the easier games and, and throughout the season. Um, for me personally, it's it's not the start I would have wanted. You want some easy games to kind of, of start it off, get the three points on the board. But 
it is what it is. Um, like I said, let us know uh, your comments below. Again, don't forget to like, follow and subscribe. A lot of you guys watch the videos, but do not click the button. It is massively important for us. Um, the more followers we have, the better the content we can do. So ultimately, it's the better content we can give you guys as well. So don't forget to do all the usual like, subscribe and everything like that. And let us know what you think below.